established the connection between our devices and the network over Wi-Fi or Ethernet, we're now ready to dive inside of playback and look at how we route that MIDI to the right destination and just how powerful MIDI out is. So the first thing you'll notice is up in the top right hand corner we have a new menu and in that new menu is settings and also MIDI map. And where MIDI map previously was is a button called mute MIDI. And mute MIDI is really important if we want to pause automation of lyrics or lights or any other production element. For example, we might be in the chorus here of Sea of Victory and we want to read out some scripture or pray or sing out our own lyrics and we don't want the lyrics to go on autopilot. So by touching mute MIDI with our fingers, with a foot controller or any MIDI controller, we can pause the MIDI out leaving playback and reactivate it when it's appropriate again. Okay, let's dive inside settings and you'll see that there's also a new button that's called MIDI out. And when we enable that and jump back up to the song, you'll notice that all the MIDI events are represented by these orange triangles for lyrics and different colors for other MIDI buses down the timeline of the song. And that leads us on to MIDI buses. If we come back into settings and go to MIDI, you'll see here are all the predefined buses that allow us to route MIDI to several different places. We may be sending MIDI to our lyrics bus to control our lyrics software, or to lights, or to patches, guitars, auxiliary, or anything else that we want to. And inside each bus, we can choose the destination, either the network session or any hardware connection, such as our eye connectivity device, and also the channel as well. And we can turn on and off any of the ports as we see fit. Okay, let me show you a couple of things that are really impressive inside of this build of MIDI out. Let's have a look at when we add and remove sections, for example. So if we go to the end of verse one here in Sea of Victory, you'll notice that there's no MIDI cue down the end here because we don't need anything to change going into the tag. But if I was to press edit and add verse one back in, you'll notice that it now adds a MIDI cue right at the end of verse one because it's gonna repeat the cue that we need to go back to the second verse one. And again, if I remove that, it'll seamlessly remove the MIDI note. And the same will happen behind the scenes when we are changing our arrangement ahead of the time, when we are changing it in the moment, when we're jumping around, looping, infinite looping, or live reordering, playback will always go ahead of us to trigger the MIDI note that we need that leads us into the section. So we'll never miss a lighting cue, patch change, or lyric cue ever again. This really is so incredibly simple and easy to use. We'll also notice that if we hit edit and hit the three dots on the song tile, we can actually choose the pro presenter playlist and the pro presenter item number here in the menu. So if Sea of Victory is the first song of our first playlist, we can just go to playlist one and playlist item number one. However, let's say we want to instead go to a different playlist we could tell it to go to the pro presenter playlist number three for example and then go to item number three or one or whatever it might be this is a really clever way that means that we don't have to pre-program the midi note for every song telling pro presenter where it needs to go we can simply let playback do the heavy lifting for us this is midi out inside of playback and in subsequent videos i'll show you how to create and make those cues yourself ready to download